to South Florida. Try and figure things out. They take another L. You know, when you get frustrated in this league, it tests you, it measures you, and then you have to collectively uh, respond. The last few days have been frustrating, but uh, we have another opportunity to bounce back on Sunday, and things change very quickly in this league. The jumper for the lead! Yes! Oh, baby. A miraculous come-from-behind win for the Heat. A much-needed comeback and victory for Miami. After coming off of that win last night, a game that, you know, um, like I said, we was down 16 and come back and get it. I feel like coming here, a place we ain't won, I feel like we just connected as a team. We um, pulled ourselves to with the team. I mean, this is a lesson for us on the back-to-back. -back. We came in, played like we need to play. We could have given ourselves every excuse um, not to get the effort, but, you know, we got it done. Uh, you have to prove it on, on the court. You have to inspire each other on the court. You have to get to a point where you don't want to let guys down. But you have to go through some tough times to be able to get to that. And we've, we've been frustrated with our, our last week, but uh, we had to bounce back in the last two minutes. Um, and you could see that uh, the guys wanted to enjoy that you know, because of some of the pain that we've been through. tonight with a stop in Brooklyn. Love that sign there. Welcome to Brooklyn indeed. Welcome to Heat Live, the pregame. After that impressive road win against the Hawks, the Heat now looking to make it three straight wins overall. The Miami Heat visiting the Brooklyn Nets right here on Fox Sports Sun inside that Barclays Center and arriving there. Luo Dang is ready. Dwayne Wade is ready. We'll get into the updates on those guys, in particular D. Wade. And then Hassan White said kind of the holiday spirit, right? It does. But I'm kind of angry, though, John, because look what Amari has on. I can barely see Well, it. here's why I'm angry. This oh. is what I got you for Christmas, and the fact that he got it for back to Monday night, 9.21 on the clock in the third quarter. Dragic was called for his second personal foul of the game. Only issue, he took the tough end of the exchange, mouth bloodied. We quickly learned that wasn't a piece of chiclet gum on the floor. That was the bottom half of his front left tooth. The Heat training staff did a great job securing the tooth, which come to five out was a replacement itself from a previous displacement, but the bleeding took extra effort back in the locker room. For good measure, he came in and knocked down a two-footer when he came back to play, say you're not going to knock me out of my game even if you take the tooth out. That's wrong, man. That's, that's his game. He's, he's, he's a tough competitor. Uh, he's taking hits all year. Uh, he's just going to get right back up and even when he came back, he was still driving into the lane. Uh, nothing changed. A lot of guys who change their game and be hesitant, he ain't think twice about it. This is how we grow up, you know. Uh, like a lot of times you get hit, we don't, we don't know really like uh, mouthpieces to guard our teeth, you know or anything so i knew that like he's not gonna be out there uh, back in the locker room for a long time so. oh it was great man it's like you know i was in toronto for a while watching hockey it was like hockey man it was awesome the sad thing is is his is probably gonna get fixed before mine you know so um, yeah i probably gotta step my game up a little bit back involved in the second half let's look at hassan to start here he did such a good job of getting on the offensive glass when he could uh and, and really competing on the glass particularly in that first half look at him with his back to the basket here getting comfortable with that dribble drop step jump hook uh something he's been going to more and more regularly but this is really his bread and butter catching and finishing in the paint he takes up so much space with that seven foot length and to be able to finish on another seven footer uh, inside like that is impressive and he has 16 he is their go-to guy in the offensive end 
but he really uh, was more limited in the second half. He did most of his damage in that first half. So Winslow maybe hadn't been doing it offensively. Yeah, I thought the, the 28 points overall from the bench were a huge boost for Miami, and Winslow came in uh, and really was aggressive right from the start. He made a couple shots going to the basket, uh, and then he, he made some threes. Uh, Gerald Green provides instant energy yeah. between the two of these guys. The production was outstanding, and the overall defensive energy was was really contagious. Um, you saw it wind up seeing uh, Winslow score 11 points, Green 13. They wind up hitting five threes between the two of them. Winslow is very underrated as a rebounder. I mean, for a guy his size, he's been pulling down over five rebounds a game. He had eight. I mean, that is just a, a great job. But the trust in him yeah. with the coaching staff from Miami continues to grow because of his ability to defend, particularly down the stretch. Here is tonight's key move of the game, brought to you by All My Sons Moving. And where's Dwayne Wade going? He's going to the ground, but he's still going to find a way to slide his way to the basket, John. That is a P for perseverance. Look at that. Keep the dribble alive so he doesn't travel. That is Dwayne Wade, tonight's key move. He was outstanding. I mean, he really looked aggressive, tried to get himself going early. Remember, he's coming off one of his worst games in the year. He had seven points on three of 16 shooting in Atlanta, and he put that behind him with a vengeance, came out, mixed up his game, going to the basket, and then getting into that comfort 15 to 18 foot area where he could make that shot, pulling back with the left dribble there to clear some space. Look at him here with the crossover fadeaway, but he's again, he's at the dotted line when he's fading away, so the percentage of his make is so much higher because he's closer to the basket. Look at the overall wow. number on 28 points, but what was really impressive to me was his fourth quarter points there. You see 10 points on five of six field goals when they really needed yeah. him to finish shots. He stepped up again. Dwayne, what changed for you through the day? We, we learned well after shoot around that you're dealing with some sort of mystery mouth situation. We'll call it that for now. What changed for you that got you in position and really led to this performance? Nothing. <laughs> That's basketball people you know some nights you make shots some nights you miss shots you know I told my teammates at the Atlanta game if I get those same shots against Brooklyn it's gonna be a good night and um, I got those same shots and tonight I was able to make them but most importantly uh, we started slowly on the defensive end of the floor but uh, we turned it up from there. after the first quarter we played good defense what did you like most about these sets of the set of games these three games here that really describes what you wanted a process that, that you wanted to be deliberate and slow and consistent when you come off the three-game losing streak yeah. into this three-game winning streak. Is that our game is good enough if we get to our game. You know, we can't play the game of other people. We have to play our game, and it's always great winning on the road. Um, um, it, it, it lets our young team know that we can win on the road. So before we go on our long <laughs> January trip, um, we felt how it feels to win on the road. And um, it's been nice, too. We've been getting some home crowds on the road, too. I was about to say, <laughs> Atlanta and, uh, and Brooklyn here historically have been sound for you and the Miami Heat. But this has got to be nice when you think about the Heat Nation message that you guys put out last year and knowing that it's still out here on the road. Well, you know, like we like we continue to say, I mean, no one is going to come and save us. It's got to be us that's going to do it. So we got to figure this thing out together. And uh, we got a great group of guys in that locker room. And, you know, when it's good, when everything going good, anybody can do it. But when it's going bad, that shows your true character. And I think that these two games show some character for this moment of this team. And let's see how we grow. And finally, we uh, compared some of the uh, reactions that the bench is having to that of Monmouth University. Uh, what, what's in the bag? What were you pulling out of the bag? I was going in my bag tonight, they said. So <laughs> I was pulling out all kind of stuff from 06, from 08, 2012. I was going in my bag tonight. But uh, most importantly, uh, we're a family here, you know, at the Miami Heat. And uh, we just want to send a shout out and a message to uh, Keith Smart, who's not here with us, um, but he is here with us. Uh, Smarty, uh, we know you're probably ready to break down some film, send us what we did wrong. But uh, we love you, um, and we wish nothing but the best. And we can't wait to see you when you get back my brother love well said stay smart right stay smart that's right d way thank you partner appreciate you a fun trip quick one. Oh, here he goes there were some guys in the corner down here that were giving up some mad love so he's going over to give it right back oh those must be some leanings right there yeah that might be the case dwayne wade from sea to shining sea a true all-time all-star helping out this team in a big way on way to victory and if you're ever in doubt, get out your historical sack and just reach it to the bottom. Something special may come out. 104 and 98 is the final. Stay right there. 98 from Brooklyn. If you'd like to catch tonight's game once again, tune in tonight at midnight or tomorrow at noon.
as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. My partner, John Crotty, the one and only Jason Jackson, the great duo of Eric Reed and the coach, Tony Fiorentino. I'm Will Manso saying thanks so much for watching. We leave you now with the final take. Baby, I'm Baby, I'm ballin'.